Thanks, Dave. Can you all hear me okay? All right, well, good afternoon, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board, and thank you for joining us uh, for this historic occasion. I'm Rear Admiral Greg Huffman, the commander of Carrier Strike Group 12, the Gerald R. Ford Strike Group. I'm joined today by Captain Rick Burgess, the commanding officer of the Gerald R. Ford, uh, Captain Dan Catlin, the commander of Carrier Air Wing 8, and Captain Mac Harkin, the commodore of Destroyer Squadron 2. Uh, today is an incredibly exciting day for all of us as the USS Gerald R. Ford and the ships of the Gerald R. Ford Strike Group pull in all lines and get underway for this historic deployment. Given the current state of the world, it's critical that the Ford class joins the ranks of deployed forces. The Strike Group recently achieved its Worldwide Combat Deployment Certification, and this deployment is an exciting opportunity for the U.S. Navy to demonstrate Ford's capabilities to the world. There are few military components that are as flexible and as powerful as a battle-ready carrier strike group with a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier and its embarked air wing at its heart. The Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group is scheduled to operate in the U.S. Naval Forces Europe, Africa, U.S. Sixth Fleet Area of Operations to demonstrate the commitment and power projection capability of our Navy's globally deployed forces. Along with allies and partners, the Gerald R. Ford Strike Group will remain vigilant to deter and defend against aggression and, when necessary, fight to protect a strong, free, and prosperous United States and Europe. Our operations will include maritime security, freedom of navigation, and reinforcing our strategic relationships as we continue to enhance capacity, interoperability, and interchangeability with our NATO allies. Now more than ever, it is increasingly important for the United States Navy to strengthen our relationships with our allies and partners as we continue to promote a peaceful, stable, and conflict-free Atlantic region. I also want to take this opportunity to offer my most sincere thanks to the families and friends and all the people in Norfolk who have supported our warfighters for their unwavering uh, support of their loved ones that allows our sailors to operate the most capable and professional naval force in the world. We recognize their sacrifices and are grateful for their contributions. I'm immensely proud of the Gerald R. Ford Strike Group team. The dedication they have shown in preparing for this monumental deployment has been truly inspiring. I look forward to watching what this team will accomplish in the coming months with our allies and partners. Again, thank you for joining us today on this historic occasion. I'd like to turn it over now to Captain Rick Burgess, the commanding officer of the Gerald R. Ford. Thanks, Admiral, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here with us today on uh, what is, again, a really exciting day for us. Uh, the Gerald R. Ford is the first class of aircraft carrier in the last 40 years to be produced and operated, and we are excited today to go forth and sur uh, support our uh, overseas combatant commanders for the first time. Our sailors on board are the world's finest sailors. They have been training and are prepared now, ready and excited to serve uh, in this great capacity. I want to thank the tens of thousands of folks here locally, uh, as the Admiral alluded to, that helped get Ford operational. And that includes contractors, vendors, the shipyards, and the folks here at uh, Norfolk Naval Station and all over. At the end of the day, though, it is our sailors, the finest in the world, that breathe life into this uh, incredible technological marvel. And they are, uh, today, the, most, uh, the, the, the foremost experts on operating the new technologies that really sets Ford apart from uh, its exist or predecessors. The Gerald R. Ford is our nation's capital warship and is, again, crewed by our, the finest sailors in the world. And uh, our hope is to establish what hopes uh, to become a long and lasting legacy of victory at sea. And I'm incredibly honored to be able to join this team on this ship in, uh, in that uh, service. All right. Um, lastly, uh, I also want to echo the Admiral's comments in that we are our deepest and sincerest thanks goes out to our families and friends for their unwavering support. We're going to continue to rely on that uh, through this deployment. Um, but they are the ones that allow us to uh, go forward, operate forward, and, uh, and it is uh, incredibly grateful for us to, to have that in our lives. All right. Thank you for your time today. We are willing to answer a few questions. You bet, Mike. But you have witnessed in the news that since 2017, there's been all trials and tribulations 
been in the Ford to this point today. Tell me what that shows about overcoming adversity and how prepared the ship is today to go forward. To your point, I think it shows the incredible resiliency and uh, the really the esprit de corps of our young sailors. Uh, I don't have an exact number, but a good portion of our sailors, this is their first deployment. And they were held in place because they are the experts on the new systems that Ford brings to bear. So this is a very prideful moment for them to be able to take all their hard work and then go exercise it in an operational environment, such as a, a, a first combat deployment. So again, these are, they're incredible sailors. Uh, I had a long and comprehensive turnover where I got to kind of sit back and watch and was absolutely blown away at their professionalism and their excitement to actually go and do this uh, for real on the Gerald R. Ford. And I think this will truly be the foundational deployment for Ford class carriers to come in the future too. The ship and the crew are ready, prepared, and excited to, to go get it done. We are ready to go. Hi Angela. Why the Ford is so unique? Why does it support the plan? So the, um, as with all new classes, we, we uh, introduce new technologies. We have some two dozen. Uh, it's, it's hard to probably put a number exactly on how many we have, but we have some new technologies which we hope will advance uh, maritime capabilities decades into the future. Um, and it allows us, in a larger sense, to assure U.S. maritime supremacy through this century. And so, uh, as the first in class, uh, our young sailors, who are the experts right now, are going to go out, operationally exercise all these systems, and then we'll pass those lessons on to a follow-on ships in class, like the Kennedy and the Enterprise and the Dory Miller. So again, that's part of the excitement on our sailors end too, is that they get to be the ones to go and, and, and show and help the Navy uh, advance rapidly into the future. So we can talk specific uh, systems offline, but uh, that's really it. There's a bunch of new stuff and we're excited and ready to show it off. Anything else? Okay. Okay, folks. Is that all? Uh, any more questions? I want to hear us because when the Admiral spoke, he said the six fleet carrier operations, is that what you said? Yes, sir. Also Absolutely. in the Atlantic, did you say something about Africa? Uh, so so the, the actual region is uh, Naval Forces Europe and Africa, uh, but it is the Sixth Fleet area of operations, area of responsibility. That's where we're primarily going to be operating, uh, but we are worldwide deployable. Yes, ma'am. I really wouldn't want to comment on how long uh, we, we'd be out there, but uh, uh, we are ready to go. As, as the captain uh, mentioned, the crew is incredibly excited. The entire strike group is excited. Uh, the achievements we were able to, to uh, accomplish during the, uh, the workup phase of things have been really uh, you know, inspiring for me uh, personally to see. And, and I know the crew has taken a lot of pride uh, in their achievements, and they are ready to go and, uh, and do whatever the bidding is. What message would you send for the fans who see these stories tonight, knowing that you guys have been gone for a long time? What kind of message would you send? You know, again, I, I really want to thank the families uh, and the friends that have done uh, such an incredible job supporting their sailors, uh, getting to a place where we are able to go out and deploy. And, and I understand the, the hardships that go along with that. I've done this for quite a long time, but uh, um, I would say that they should take uh, uh, comfort in the knowledge that their sailors are resilient, that we are well trained, uh, that we are ready to accomplish our mission, and uh, we are doing what we signed up to do. First one is, uh, what is the morale like on board? And the second one is, um, one of the difficulties is with the capital system. How confident are you guys in that system? Okay, th those, are, those are actually great questions. Uh, I'm going to turn that over to the captain to talk directly on the morale of the sailors. I would say, from my perspective, it's sky high. Uh, everyone is very excited to go. Uh, but I'll turn it back over to the captain to talk about the, the specific equipment. Thanks. So, uh, as the Admiral pointed out, the, the crew is actually really excited. Um, again, a lot of it is a lot of first-time cruisers and uh, really excited to show off this ship and its capabilities. And I, I'm sorry, I missed your second question. Uh, 
it's really high and uh, like all new technologies and new systems, we've come a long way from uh, the, inert, the early stages, but a lot of attention has been paid to it. And our sailors, as soon as we turn these systems over to our sailors, they do what sailors always do, which is figure out a way to persevere and succeed. And at the end of the day, uh, we are firing on all cylinders and uh, are big fans of our catapult system. It really enables the ship and the future ships in class to do some extraordinary stuff that we haven't seen yet. So um, they're, of course, very, uh, very prideful of, of their systems, but there's a lot of ownership there and they're very good and they're very excited to, to show off basically those systems. Yes, sir. I haven't thought about that in particular. <laughs> I want to get out of here safely and uh, I just, I want to have a nice professional deployment where um, we really get the opportunity to show what the Gerald R. Ford class can do and how it's different from the others, um, but no particular milestone in particular. Sorry, two particulars. Folks, we got time for one more. Last one. Okay. Softball. All right.